it won't be a good time. Let's go. Hey guys, another ride. It is crispy out. It is minus 20 Celsius, feels like minus 31 with the wind chill. You can hear that cold. Not much snow, but everything should be pretty frozen. We are gonna have uh, a ride on some of the trails we haven't been on for a while, like Bob's Elbow and all that, that some of you long-term viewers might remember, but things didn't work out. Um, Alex, the one of the guys we're gonna ride at his place, he took a nasty stumble yesterday playing pond hockey and smacked his head. And Greg's got the COVID. Yep, Greg's got COVID. So Greg can't ride with us today. So it's gonna be more of a, a skeleton crew. Fish's uh, commander's out of the count, so he's bringing his brute force. And I think we'll have two ATVs out. We got the battle wagon. Corny's gonna be out in his um, KRX. Look at those. Shock therapy springs on there finally. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Finally. Finally. Shock therapy dual rate spring kit right there. I know you guys have been telling me to do this for ages. Finally got around to it. We got the crossover rings there, and I also got the limit straps for the front to get rid of that front end clunk. Dual rate spring setup. We got the brand new tranny. Alrighty. We're getting to Apex Cycle. Look at this place. Much nicer than our previous dealership. Also guys, big shout out to Knock Around Sunglasses. They are the official sunglass sponsor of Adrenaline Chunky Prod. Check them out. You can get some sweet custom glasses on their website. All right, let's get the razor unloaded and see what we can come up with here. Hopefully we can get this guy fixed up, get his new because it's winter riding season and I beat on it hard in the winter. You guys know we send it hard in the winter, a lot of wheel spin, a lot of bouncing around, sliding around, uh, all sorts of crazy creek crossings and, and weird off camber climbs and you never really know what's gonna happen or which way you're gonna make it down a hill because uh, when you're riding in nice, things get interesting. So let's get the machine all tip top 110% and ready for some thrashing during the winter season. And hopefully guys here at Apex Cycle can help make that happen. Apex is a Honda, Yamaha, Polaris, KTM, Duke, Audi, and Indian Motorcycles dealer. All right, let's go talk to Paul, the service manager, and check out this dealership. How's really it going, man? Time, man? You ready for a headache? Oh, we'll help you, don't worry. Paul's the service manager here. Um, they deal with a lot of Polaris stuff. Uh, you guys are like a gold rated dealership, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's that mean? Can you tell us a little bit about like the different ratings? Yeah, so I mean, the, the, the ratings that Polaris comes up with, it's all based off of training that the, the, the dealers or the, the technicians at the dealer have. Uh, so obviously the higher the level, the more training. Um, and, and basically the more competent the techs are, and you can take on more complicated jobs like, you know, transmission work yeah so essentially what's gonna happen here is I've been having some training issues as you guys know it's been kind of a lingering and progressing problem for the last little while the previous dealership I was working with was struggling getting the problem solved so I've got a few friends that have dealt with you guys in the past and you guys come with good recommendations uh, it's a brand new facility essentially what, it's a few years old yeah I've been here for, for two years um, and I mean we, we obviously have a lot of different brands you know we have Polaris we have Yamaha uh, Honda, KTM, Ducati, Indian, um, I guess all of them, but uh, yeah, we do a lot of different stuff and we work on pretty much all mix and models. And Apex has been around quite a lot longer than two years though, right? Because yeah, yeah, it's, the business has been around since uh, 2009, I believe. Yep. Um, so yeah, we, we've been around for a little while, but we, we've obviously grown quite a bit in those years and uh, and yeah, we continue to grow. Cool, so um, I'm gonna drop the razor off and hopefully these guys can get the machine back to 110% for the winter riding season so we can thrash it all winter and likely take a few more trips back here in between. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, there's a ton of stock in here, even though, I mean, stock's been an issue, hasn't it? Yeah, this, well, I mean, the last two years since COVID, is a, it's, it's a challenge for sure to get stuff, but uh, we, we do the best we can to get everything here that we can offer people stuff, and uh, yeah. Cool, so I mean, you got two sweet units back here, and it looks like the shop is that way, so maybe what we'll do is we'll grab the camera, we'll do a quick walk through the shop, 
I, I kind of got a peek at it last time I was here, uh, but maybe you can show me uh, a little yeah. bit more detail. And then, sure. Yeah, we can do a little walkthrough. All right, so we are in the main shop area here. It looks nice and big and nice and clean. So uh, why don't we go for a little walk? You guys work on all sorts of things here, don't you? Yeah, yeah pretty much if it's uh, in the power sport industry, we work on it. Um, when it gets into like sea dues and that sort of thing, we're, we're not doing that currently, but um, it, possibly in the future we'll get into that as well. But yeah, dirt bikes, motorcycles, ATVs, side by sides. We got, we got technicians to handle it. Sweet, looks like you got a lot of bays here. Yeah, yeah, six, six full-time technicians and then each of them have a double wide bay space so they can uh, they can work on all kinds of projects at a time. Um, so yeah, they're gonna rip her apart. The tranny's gotta come out, so that's a pretty big job. You gotta tear apart pretty much the whole back of the machine. The whole back of the machine's yeah. gonna come apart. Yeah. Box has to come off probably and everything, yeah, right? Yeah. And then with all my accessories on there, they're gonna be like yeah. pulling teeth. <laughs> it's not gonna be, a little be fun. Bit of extra work. Yeah, there, but uh, yeah, let's, um, let's get the razor in here. dropped off and hopefully when we pick her up she'll be good as new and uh, we're gonna head home so tomorrow they're gonna call me they're gonna let me know what they think is wrong they're gonna strip it down they're gonna get a parts list going and they're gonna keep me in the loop and hopefully we can get this thing buttoned up in the next couple weeks so we can get back out on the trail in the meantime I'm gonna focus on making some badass content because I got a lot of wicked video in the vault to release for you guys as always thanks for the support guys make sure you check out some of the channel sponsors they really do make this happen they help a lot with parts and and helping me create these videos and focus more on the, the content production um, Big shout out to all the viewers. Thanks for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber yet, then smash that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And please check out the Shopify store, guys. There's a lot of cool stuff on the Shopify store, a lot of cool designs. I wanted cool stickers. Everyone loves stickers. I couldn't find what I wanted, so I just went out and I designed it. So if you see something you like, then uh, hit that order button. And just remember, all the proceeds go right back into the channel. Brand new clutches, primary and secondary with all the aftermarket assassins goodies. So we got the new clutches here, primary and secondary. We got the old clutch with the aftermarket assassins goodies on it. So I'm gonna have to transfer a lot of that over to this new clutch. It doesn't come with a spring or weights or anything. So I gotta shift all mine over. And then the secondary doesn't come with a spring or a helix. So we're gonna shift the helix and the spring over that are aftermarket assassins from the old secondary to the new one. Look at those sheaves, look at that. What a difference. Nice and fresh. These were binding a little bit, which is why the razor was stalling out at times and being hard to start because it was stuck in gear. I'm sure that wasn't helping the tranny shift. I think it was just a compounding issue from everything. So I'm gonna swap all these goodies over. The guys at Apex Cycle were nice enough to let me use their shop to swap all these clutch components over. So you see me here taking apart both the clutches and I'll be removing all the aftermarket assassins components that are on the old primary and slapping them onto the new primary, which is the weights, the spring, the washers, um, basically, all the components that don't come with the um, the new primary, you have to order them all separately. And on top of that, I also have the fan plate there, as you can see, that creates a little bit more airflow and suction into the CVT. Uh, here, I'm just taking the old weights off. They're already set up um, with the weight packs that I need from Aftermarket Assassins for my 32-inch tires with the Stage 3 tune. All this goes comes apart really easy. It's, it's, it's very basic. If you need more information on how to do this stuff in detail, I've got a very in-depth teardown and rebuild of the primary and secondary on the channel. That's over an hour and a half long. That takes you through everything step by step um, and will explain all the process involved. I frequently get asked if clutch mods are really necessary if you're running like a 32 inch tire on a turbo. The truth is no. Are they a lot better? Oh yeah, the benefits are huge. So noticeable. Um, clutching is probably the biggest change you can do in the drivability of a vehicle, and that's why I recommend going with a reputable company that puts a lot of R&D and quality into their products like Aftermarket Assassins. They really are at the top of this game. Now look at that brand new secondary. Look how shiny those sheaves are, and look how nice everything looks in comparison to the old one that's all smooth with some 
if you run your hand across that, you can feel some waviness from the belt wear. Uh, the belts are really heavy duty and, 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 and the rubber reinforced material eventually wears itself into the soft aluminum. And uh, here you can see like that beautiful machine finish. Uh, the difference is gonna be insane. Also, you see me here um, removing the secondary spring and you'll see me removing the aftermarket assassin's helix the helix upgrade makes a massive difference too into the secondary i highly recommend um, doing the clutch mods like you see here um, if you really want to improve the drivability of your machine i feel a lot of people ignore maintaining their clutches for far too long until they start seeing issues your clutches have a lot of wear items in there, and if you don't replace them when they're needing to be replaced, then they will cause wear to the non-replaceable or non-wear items, which will re require you to replace the whole clutch body like you see here. The clutches are a wear item, and depending on how you use your machine, they will have to be replaced eventually. These clutches have just over 5,000 kilometers on them, so around 3,500 miles, and I have rebuilt them. I think this is my would have been about twice completely, which includes a bearing change in the primary and also included doing all the wear components like those pucks you see in there. Um, the first time I replaced them, I did wait a little bit too long and it caused a little bit of wear on certain areas. And then as these components move and you use them, the aluminum will wear, things will start getting a little sloppy, tolerances will, will kind of increase and at the end of the day, you're not gonna get the performance you're after even once you rebuild them. It's kind of like a lot of other items. You can rebuild it two or three times, but then eventually you do need to replace the main components and that's what I'm doing here with the new tranny, with the new axles, with the new prop shaft that I had in recently. Um, this thing is gonna be like new with these new clutches. It felt wrong to not replace the clutches at this point. The razor is essentially going to be as fresh as it's been since the day I brought it home. All right, new clutches, new tranny, new axles, new everything. This thing's going to be a beast. So we transferred everything over, and it's ready to go back on the machine. I couldn't not do the clutches. There was definitely wear on the components that aren't serviceable and I've been seeing it get worse and worse and worse. So, I mean, I had to do this. Um, this is the best way to do it with the new tranny. Everything's fresh. I'm good for another four or five years without worrying about anything except servicing these wear items on here. So these bad boys look awesome. I got all the aftermarket assassins goodies in there. And um, these are about as good as they can get without moving away from the stock clutch body and going to like an STM setup. But for what I'm doing, this is more than enough for trail riding. I know a lot of guys have said I should have re-geared the tranny, but I really didn't want to mess with a lower gear. I, I, I find low gear is low enough right now. We can always dig into that later on. Next mod is gonna be an RS1 front diff conversion. And I think I'm gonna eventually get the Halo Locker uh, electric disconnect uh, rear sway bar kit. So yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Big shout out to Apex Cycle here in Cambridge, Ontario for looking after me and doing a really good job on the machine so far. I can't wait to try it out because uh, I'm super stoked. It's gonna feel like new. Um, so big shout out to all the supporters, all the sponsors. Big shout out to Polaris for standing behind their product and warranting the tranny and um, giving me a new belt and axles along with that. Uh, so big shout out to them. I've always been a Polaris fanboy. You guys know that. It's because they stand behind their product. They got the best warranty in the game, hands down. Argue with me all you want. I've, I've seen so many other machines and people get turned down and Polaris always stands behind their goods. Um, big reason I stick to the Polaris brand. People always ask me why I choose this brand. This is a big, big reason why I do. Axel's just hanging down there right now. Most of all, most important is we got a brand new transmission in there, a whole brand new unit from Polaris and um, everything associated with it. Here's the old tranny in pieces. It says C-H-I-N-A on all these bearings. These are the old intake boots. They had cracks on them. 
don't know if you can see them on the video, but they're cracking around the edges. And then there was wear on the sh on some of these parts here. I don't know if you can see the wear right there. Right there, that's all supposed to be square. The wear you're seeing here is likely the main cause of the transmission slipping out of gear, specifically in high gear. Those are all supposed to be straight edges. See the wear on those? That's the high gear. There's actually a chip out of that one. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. You can see when they mesh in, there's a lot of slop there and you can see how worn one side is. Aside from the visible wear and damage you see here, they also noticed that there was some scoring on two of the seal faces from previous warranty work at the last dealership, and they were worried they wouldn't be able to get the new seals to seal up. When I picked my machine up from the dealer last time for leaky axle seals, I was actually leaking more with the new seals than before the job. They also informed me that Polaris likes to replace all assemblies on a shaft, so if you replace one piece or one gear, you're supposed to replace them all. Factoring in the time, the labor, the parts cost, it was better to just put a new tranny in it. See the tapered wear there? Low gear is not as bad. High gear was definitely worse. A lot of slop on those splines too. The bearings all actually seem decent still. I'm gonna upgrade to a better oil on my new tranny. I've had a lot of people recommend that. So I'm gonna run some better quality 7590 in there instead of that water that Polaris recommends running. And there's the case. That's it. Stock springs with Razor 8 tenders versus the shock therapy dual rate setup. Can't wait to get her back out on the trail. Here's a new Razor Trail S Ultimate. We've got new intake boots in there too. They noticed the ones that were on there were cracked up a little bit, so they replaced those. Good attention to detail here at the dealer. Big improvement for what I used to. All right, so I left Apex Cycle and heading home. Got the clutches put back together. The new clutches all um, set up with the aftermarket Assassin's goodies. Dropped off my new Rhino 2.0 rear axles. Dropped off the shock therapy spring kit. They're gonna slap those on the shocks and then I'll just fine tune the ride heights and everything when I get the machine home. I dropped off a new belt. And uh, yeah, so um, basically, just gonna wait now for them to uh, get it all buttoned up. The tranny is in, talk to the mechanics there. It's been a long time since I've actually felt confident um, having someone else work on my machine. And um, actually it's, it's really the first time I've felt confident um, taking my razor to a dealership and, and having it looked after and not having to really come home worried. Um, so that's, that's a nice change from what I was used to at the previous dealership. So. Um, Obviously, uh, we'll have to wait and see how the machine works uh, once it's out on the trail and everything like that. But my initial impressions of dealing with, with uh, the guys at Apex Cycle there have been very positive. So um, that's really nice. A lot of people have told me that uh, I should dump the Polaris tranny fluid and run a better quality like 7590, like an AMS oil in there. So I think I'm gonna do that in this new tranny um, and, and see how that works. Uh, but aside from that, once I get the machine home, like I said, I'm going to fine tune all the shock therapy goodies, get the limit straps on, and um, I'm also going to install my new Warren Axon 4500 RC winch. Look at this. We got another awesome upgrade for the Razor. Been wanting one of these Axon winches for ages from Warren. This is the 4500. I wanted to put a 55 on, but it doesn't fit in the soft location on the Razor. So I went with the 45. I'm sure it'll be great. Look at that back one. I'll show you some more details on this thing in a future video. 
but this thing is like top of the line. Cannot wait to get this thing on the machine. It's gonna be a game changer in the winch department. And um, I've also got another set of rock lights. Also got myself an additional set of RGB rock lights from uh, Mike Tooting. And these are their C3s. They're huge, look at those things. They're making off so much light. And I'm gonna leave my other rock light kit on too, so I'm gonna have 16 rock lights. 16 rock lights. I've got a couple wiring issues I need to solve. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a battery switch into like an accessory switch uh, onto my fuse box. So when I'm not using the razor for a couple days, um, it doesn't chew the battery because um, having all these aftermarket accessories, they all have a little bit of current draw. And when you add that all up, then um, it, it's enough to, to drain the battery over a day or two, for example. So um, I'm gonna address that issue so that I don't have any, any issues with the battery and the charge system. Um, aside from the tranny, I also got a few new other parts like I mentioned. I got new intake boots. I got a new upstream O2 sensor. I recently put a new downstream O2 sensor on. I'm also getting a new headlight switch because that was faulty and it had some current draw which was probably helping drain the battery as well. Um, I got a new like gear selector switch like the one that tells the machine what gear it's in and um, I, I think that's it really and um, all that except for the clutches was covered under warranty which is amazing um, go Polaris <laughs> we got new O2 sensors fix the wiring harness I guess the reason my machine was shutting off in the previous videos was it was throwing a code for the O2 sensor changed one didn't fix it changed the other didn't fix it the dealership ended up tracing a broken wire so Polaris covered that under warranty and holy cowboys she's got the power now She's never been running right really since I put the tune on, but now it's hauling ass. It feels better than new with the new tranny and all the upgrades and the ECU and everything dialed in properly. It's laying down the power, the jam is there. Um, so what else we got here that's new? Uh, oh yeah, we got the new Warren. You can't really see it, the Axon 45RC, 4,500 pound winch in there on the Warren winch plate. Uh, we've also got two new rear Rhino axles to go with the tranny. I just figured, you know what? I'm not gonna leave the axles old if I'm replacing the tranny and everything else. Uh, we got our dig rig power sports snorkel set up here. The CVT exhaust, stealth snorkel. Uh, the adrenaline off-road outfitters, LED whips, and I added some more mic tuning rock lights. So now we got a total of 16 rock lights. This baby's gonna be lit up at night. It's gonna look good. Anyways, um, got to get loaded up. I mean, we got to roll because we're pretty late already, like usual. Got the Super ATV full front glass windshield and the rear poly windshield. Game changers for days like today when it's ice cold out. So we're going to hit, get some food. Uh, we're going to go to McDee's or something like that or Timmy's. And then we're going to meet up with the guys at Collins Farm. And we're going to ride some of the local trails there. And then next ride out, hopefully we can get up and hit um, some of the trails we haven't hit for a while. So stay tuned guys, it'll be a good time. Winter riding is always a lot of fun and a lot of people enjoy watching this. We're supposed to get a big dumping of snow tomorrow. So hopefully um, that'll make some of the upcoming videos really good. Maybe we'll go for another rip tomorrow. We'll see how the battle wagon holds up. Battle wagon version 3.0, let's call it. Uh, now with all the new upgrades. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you want some cool swag, some stickers, then make sure you head on over to the Shopify store and you can get yourself some of these sweet stickers like unexpected full sends. They may occur at any time. Or warning, hold the F on. This driver does some stupid S. And plenty more stickers on the Shopify store like this one. Eat, sleep, ride, repeat, I must have. So check it out and let's get to the riding. Big shout out to all of our sponsors uh, and supporters. If you're looking to get some parts for your machine, then check out Rocky Mountain ATV MC guys. They hosted the last giveaway in conjunction with Warren. So congratulations to the winner of the awesome Warren giveaway and um, we'll also be doing some more cool giveaways. So uh, make sure you use our affiliate link that's gonna be posted at the, at, in the description of all the videos, as well as at the bottom of the video right now. That will give us a little bit of a commission based on anything you purchase through Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and they've got some great prices on OEM as well as aftermarket parts. Okay, enough, let's ride. Well, we got our Wendy's. Yep, you gotta have calories when it's cold. You gotta stay warm. And uh, we're fashionably late. We should be there right on time when we're supposed to be hitting the trail. 
but uh, it's all good. Everyone's used to that by now. I run on my own schedule. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, so uh, we're just heading to the trail now. It's a beautiful day outside. It's chilly, it's cold, but we're dressed for the weather. It should be pretty good. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So you'll see us when we're unloading and uh, meeting up with the guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook to stay up to date. up there was a cop an unmarked cruiser talking to him he was pulled over on the side of the road but I don't know what they said I'm sure we'll figure that out in a few minutes so uh, we're about a minute away from Colin's place now so we're gonna unload and we are gonna hit the trail yeah the sky looks nice yeah it's really cool it's only it's like t-shirt weather it's minus 13 right now it's warmed up it's a nice balmy balmy Saturday I'm going to let some fresh air in. Tyler's here. He's got his full enclosure. Oh, Timmy's here. Oh, there's a four-seater brand new... Oh, is that a four-seater? Yeah, it's a brand new four-seater Pro XP. Oh, damn. It's like brand spanking new. <laughs> we're here. We're here. We're here. We're ready to ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Woo, yeah. Yeah, hopefully the batteries hold up. Cause it's cold. They don't. The GoPros don't like us. I didn't even bring the big camera. We're just rocking GoPros today. Well, we got some fresh meat here today. Gimpy just showed up. Got the paddle wagon. Fishy on the brute force with the crush locks. We got Tim. He really put a lot of love into this machine lately. Look at this thing. Brand spanking new Pro XP four seater. Oh damn, this will be interesting. And obviously the KRX. I think your machine's heavier than his. What will make the trail limo go last? What's Jordan's up, Corey? On his way. What's up? We're out here again, boys and girls. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. It's cold out there. Yeah, I already let him know it's a balmy, you know, it's sweater weather. It is, yeah. yeah. Nothing for what Canadians can't Look at on. this artwork, eh? <laughs> that looks old. It does. Did Greg do this in high school? Yeah, Greg my dad. Grade eight. <laughs> Grade eight, yeah. <laughs> Who's driving the deer? That's Greg Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that Honda, eh? It's Doing a, a tranny there. swap, eh? Is this the new Razor tranny? Yeah. Nice. That's for his mud truck. I got cool. Look at that drive shaft. That's funny looking. U8, U8TC or mud trucks. Are yeah, I've seen the. I've been living. I've seen them on, uh, on what's it called on uh, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, but the mud trucks I'm being called are building now. Or badass. This year. Yeah. The razor is sitting low on the new uh, shock therapy springs. I got to work on dialing them in. I think I got my crossover rings set wrong. I set them the way they um, they suggested, one inch from the from the main spring or from the spring divider on the front and two in the rear. The fronts are, I think, sitting a little, I got to up the, uh, I want to ride more on my, on my kind of my helper spring. So it's a more plush ride. I'm not really jumping the thing or anything like that. Timmy here did some serious work on his machine last night. He pretty much rebuilt the whole front frame section here. I'll put some video, uh, or I mean, I'll put some pictures in the video to show you guys uh, the damage and how he fixed it. What's going on, Timmy? Yeah, is that a low pressure gauge? Yeah. Nice, I need that. Yeah. I when you're done. Gonna drop them down to get a little more bite in this hard ground. Yeah. I can smell the trim clad from here. Are you? I said I can still smell the rust paint. <laughs> on the, the trim muscle, clad. Right? Oh, is that where it's coming from? First time it's uh, up. It smells nice. <laughs> it smells like new <laughs> Yeah, but it's not. Crap. Yeah. Picks. Yeah. Redneck garage. That's yeah. Happens. Look at this thing. <laughs> Beauty. It looks nice. Trail limo. Look at those fenders. 
Holy cow! What's wrong? I feel so heavy. You look like you're pregnant. I want to be pregnant. Yeah. I like the rad camo with the... It's a sign. I'm so stoked about these. Hey, I got you something. Hey, what's this? What's this? Merry Christmas. Dude. It's a light bar. Whoa. Oh, I need those stickers, actually. You don't what, I don't those. get the shock therapy stickers? No way, man. Those You got to spend like <laughs> three grand to get those stickers. Oh. <laughs> you can have those $3,000 stickers You back. can keep the springs. I'm keeping the stickers. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it's dude. From, it's from Mike Tuning. From where? It's company's called Mike Tuning. They're the wow, ones who made my huge. rock lights. Yeah. Whoa. It lights up different colors. Nice. I'm sure you can find a place for it. Yeah, man. The, the rock lights are decent quality, so I think that should pretty, probably hold up pretty decent. Cool. It's got like the harness and everything. Just gonna line it up, see how that lines Yeah. Up. Look at this. Everyone's rocking the Team HAP stickers. Oh right yeah. On, it's not gonna stick past my roof, so won't catch on the oh, trees on the side. It's actually That'll, good length. That's very good length. It'll still give you room for the brackets on the side. Yep. Nice. Wow, dude, thanks. That's awesome. You're welcome. Cool. Sweet. Oh, you uh, put your windshield back together? Yeah, I did my Franken shield. I yeah. had uh, this cold weather. Yeah. I, oh, I We're going to see if we can get you a glass one soon. Yeah, man. I also did my, my rear window, too. We're going to see how that works. It'll do something. Yeah, because right without that, it, it swirls. Yeah, it comes yeah. in and, like the wind's coming straight from behind me. It's so it's weird. Nothing. Hey, you, you're the wrong color. Uh, oh, he's got the right color. Oh, oh Tim. Hey, Tim, check out my new baby. Ooh. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah. Rock a bye, baby. <laughs> Susie. I don't know. That thing kind of looks like the UPS delivery. <laughs> well, it's pretty cold. It's hard to film because the GoPros don't like this temperature. Everything's icy. The shock therapy springs feel awesome. The ride comfort is so great. It's so comfortable and flush. I got uh, the ride height's a little low. I got to tweak it when I get home. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? I'm sure we've all been there. Just had the machine all torn down, everything ripped apart, huge service, and now as soon as I hit the trail, something doesn't sound right. So originally what I thought it was, was I thought that the tranny was slipping out of gear, or it was misaligned, or something was off. It, you can't really hear it on video, but when I hit the gas there and spun the tires for the first time, it smashed as if like the hanger bearing ripped right out of it. So I thought it was the front shaft, but pay attention, it's not actually that. It doesn't look broken. Something's not right. You see me here, I'm trying to recreate the issue. I want to diagnose what's actually going on. I don't want to drive and have some sort of a catastrophic failure. Pay attention here, I shifted into 4x4, but look at those front wheels, there's a delay on them spinning up. Then you can see me pop it back into two-wheel drive, but pay attention to those front wheels when I hit the gas. You can see those front wheels jerk even in two-wheel drive, something's not right with that dip. So, I hit the gas a bit, the wheels spun hard, and it sounded like my prop shaft exploded. And then I popped it out of four-wheel drive. And I hit the gas and the front wheels grabbed again and then it jumped out. It sounds like the front dick or the prop shaft. Like I checked underneath the hanger bearing spine. 
But like something's wrong. Listen for it. We'll do it. like a misalignment somewhere. You can see us trying to diagnose it here. It was really hard to recreate. Once I took the machine home, I did some road burn, and I took it on a few more rides up at home on my trails, and I isolated it. It ends up only occurring after the machine's in 4x4. You disengage 4x4, go into two-wheel drive, and randomly the front diff will just try to engage itself when it feels like it. And I think it's because of all the slop in my front hat hubs and my axles, and they're putting leverage on the diff, trying to make it engage and ratchet like that. Oh, what's on me? What happened? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. It sounds like it's jumping in and out of gear, but we don't know. He just got it back from warranty work, so. Double K on it. Yeah, two kilometers, and now it's jumping. So. No, it's almost like you're saying, it's almost like it's in gear, and then it jumps right into like full position, like it's supposed to. Yeah. Did it do it at all in between the road and here? Just on no. the ice, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the ice related too. Honestly? Yeah. I'd, I'd venture a little bit farther and see if it happens on hard ground. Yeah. You're on the ice right now. So. My theory is this. It shouldn't be happening on the ice. How many times have we done donuts in four-wheel drive on the ice and on the road? And, and, and if it's happening in this low road scenario, what's going to happen when it grabs going up a big climb? The thing is, we don't really have any big climbs. The thing is, I can't take it back like this and hope it doesn't happen again. You are, I know. That's why, uh, in these kind of conditions, I always like to fully break these Yeah, I mean, I just spent, <laughs> I literally just spent 25 hours wrenching on it or more. And just spent three and a half weeks at a dealership getting a new candy. I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how they're gonna respond. Are you filming me? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know how they're gonna respond. To this. Okay. Okay. I mean, in the moment, situations like this suck until you figure out what's going on. Um, luckily, this wasn't as bad as it seemed. Can you film? I'm gonna get another battery. Okay, let's quickly button up the tranny issue or the diff issue. Turns out that when I called the dealership, they were super receptive. They worked with me, asked me a bunch of questions. They also thought that it sounded diff related and also thought that it may be due to the play in the front shaft and the leverage that it's putting on the diff, causing it to maybe engage and shift. Um, with that being said, I isolated the issue to two wheel drive. As long as you keep it in 4x4, four four, nothing happens. So I'm just leaving it in 4x4 four four and not taking it out till I swap into my RS1 diff. It's definitely hard to film when it's minus 30 out. No, and now I'm worried about the razor after making all those noises. I just don't trust it. I got like this mental game going on right now where I think something's gonna grenade or, or break or something. I gotta adjust my suspension a bit more. It's sitting a little low. I don't think I have the 15 and a half inches of ground clearance I should have. I can feel it scrubbing in areas that usually wouldn't. It's looking good though. The consensus from everyone is that uh, it's slipping out of gear for some reason in higher RPM. I don't know if it was just a no load ice scenario and a new tranny or something, but I mean, it shouldn't be doing that. These super ATV mud flaps aren't gonna live long. They, uh, they're probably better for like high speed riders, but I keep hitting them on stuff and they're bending. I'll eventually break them off. I like how you put that temp. Yeah, on the maniac. Yeah. Hey, how many PSI you running? Zero. It's <laughs> the crush locks. Crush lock, zero PSI. Is Never this, gonna fly. Is this lemon lime? That, that's lemon lime. Fish is side bitch. Yeah, between the fish tank and lemon lime. Oh, oh and Tosh too. Yeah, don't, you don't want to leave her out. Between the three of them, he's got plenty of problems. 
plenty of them, yeah. Yeah. And usually the fish tank and lemon lime were the main issues. Of course, yeah. of course. Wait, I, I was not implying yeah. anything else. <laughs> I did not mean anything else. It feels so much different on an ATV, doesn't it? Love it. Isn't it wild? It feels so extreme. Like these trails where we're just putting along on the ATV are like bumping over logs and like those those little creek climbs are like uh, kind of like. Oh, they're like, not that bad. Well, you I hit it wrong and it and it and it feels sketchy, right? In the in the side by side, you don't get no, that. No, you don't even factor. feel because your front tires are going up and over by the time your back tires are even starting to. On the side by side, up. this isn't the trail. It's like the highway to get to the trail. But on the ATV, you're constantly having fun, right? Oh yeah. Like every little log I always gas. Just Look at Corey, eh? He finally got a set of tires. You just got them on for the truck. Yeah. And I also noticed that my eardrums aren't ringing when I'm behind you. Yeah, it's dark exhaust again. Yeah. Perfect. Man, that thing was loud. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Hey, but it was a good exhaust. The yeah. internet wants to know if you got rid of your side by side. No, I still got it. Ah. <laughs> uh, he just likes the Yamaha better. Yeah. Hey, how do you knock a legend? Oh yeah. oh yeah, the Grizzly's a legend. Yeah, and you can beat on it hard and it never breaks. It doesn't have enough power to break anything. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't beat yourself. I broke a lot of stuff back in the day. Yeah, you've got the power to break stuff. Well, it was, half of that machine is my old machine. Yeah? Yeah. But mine was on 30 cubes. Back then, that was like insane. Yeah. 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 Gordy, what's going on, man? It's too hard to film the riding when it's minus Whoa. 800 out. <laughs> the GoPros are freezing, eh? Yeah. And I'm too lazy to get in and out. Yeah. How's my tire looking? It's low. It's significantly oh, yeah. lower. Yeah. Like I. You're leaking. I took the bead off. I soaked it did down. You, did you pop both beads? No, I didn't pop the. I didn't pop the inside one. Maybe it's that one leaking, who knows. So hard to film today, but we're still having a good time. We're at Drunk Guy's place. We got hot dogs. Look at all the empties. Is this one weekend? <laughs> Drunk Guy lives on. It's a sauna in there? Go in. Yep. Oh man, it's hot in here. Yeah. Hey, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. You want the hot thing. <laughs> oh, look at all the pics. Yeah. You guys printed them all? That's cool. Uh, Paul's carry. He uh, printed off four. Oh, I'm glad they went to good use. <laughs> and we took it up. And it's got everybody on it. Cool. Look at that. I remember that. I wish we were there right now. As you're probably noticing, this ride is not as intense as some of our trail rides. We're just hanging out, having a good time. The weather is cold, so it kind of limits things. It's hard to film, but regardless, it's still a good time to be out on the trail, and it just kind of shows more of the lifestyle associated with what we love to do. Is the other swamp bigger? Oh yeah, there's tons of ice all the way Let's down. Let's go over there. Let's go over there.
I felt Man, like I was ready to go it is. over. <laughs> I had to lean over because I felt like it was starting to go. I never felt like that of mine at all. It just felt planted. Well, it's so glazed and slick. It's awesome. Look, we're leaking. Hopefully it doesn't blow up.
New, new transmission. Let's see what this guy can do. We need to lock the front diff. Or is it a manual fucking diff lock or what? I got it set. What are you doing down there? It's too soft right now. I remember looking down at my shoulder. Too soft. Is that you or the machine, Julian? Who's too soft? Is that a manual diff lock? <laughs> Everything is frozen if the swamp's frozen. Oh, yeah. Ice <laughs> Julian, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, let her f***ing hang, bud. We're ready for you. you know, nobody, Look at the audience. Somebody else has to make adjustments. Yeah, f Got a f***ing... F uh, just adjust the suspension for me. F***ing leave and draw the f***ing thing. This right here, this is fing ice. When you see this, Julian, just know you were fing uh, adjusting your suspension and I was bored. That's ice. frozen water like this it's just so fun spinning around on the ice it might seem silly but when you're out there you just gotta get your fix it's like every winter you gotta get a couple sessions like this in there um, for all you guys that don't get to ride in the snow in the cold and the ice um, then, I mean you're missing out because it is really a lot of fun ripping on here it feels like you have a thousand horsepower and when you're done you literally feel like you're going to hurl once a few machines hit this and glaze it and the sun hits it, it gets so slick you can barely keep a donut going. I couldn't hit the gas anymore, I just kind of spin out and lose control. Here's Julian doing some donuts. I don't think he's found the skinny pedal yet. It'd be nice if he did. Come on, hit her a little harder than that, bud. That was a good, that was a, that was a lengthy burnout. Little dizziness going on. Oh my brain! I'm still spinning inside. How are you feeling there? Are you feeling slim. there, Slim? Oh, sick. Oh. My brain's still spinning. I bet. There oh man. Go, How'd that look? Good it was luck. good. I couldn't hit the gas anymore. It would. It would. I'd lose it. No, you could have. Matter. Can I hurt it? No, oh, yeah. it was you. Oh, I feel sick. You just... I can't do that again. That was good.
telling you to slow down for like I three minutes. I see her here. It's okay. There's not enough grip to cause damage. You hit tire to tire and they just slid like like you're, I mean, bowling. Well, we got more room now. Nothing happened. There's not enough grip. It just moved them all. You are too, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Into it. Well, I hope Corey's got good insurance because I mean, or because I mean, these were fine before. <laughs> yeah, they were like brand oh, new. Scratches, those weren't there. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Can we get your insurance paperwork? <laughs> hey, you're not who I expected. You better looking. Yeah, baby. It's so much different on the ATV. I was gonna say, hey. Don't flip it. I I'm gonna like, put your lid on if you're gonna flip it. Oh, I'm not going fast. I, I just literally came on to just. That was hilarious. Pop her into four. What's that? Pop her into four. I had it. weight on this ice. Look at all the weight on the ice, it's bleeding. Look at all the weight on the ice, it's making it. Oh yeah. We're flooding it. It's only about this deep here. Oh, we're good. This is a terrible idea. I love it. I'm assuming this is going to involve a tow strap. Look at their boat. When somebody gets hurt. Yep. What we've been waiting for. Hey guys. Hey, Corey. Your mom just called, and she said this is a great idea. Perfect. Yeah. Well just want to let you know. <laughs>
it's a bad idea doesn't mean it won't be a good time. Let's go. <laughs> could have worked out. Titanic, you can handle a razor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, they bounce. Well, you know what? What's it say here? No, ain't no trailer queen? That's right. It's uh, it's not much of a ride, but it's still a damn good time. Yeah, that's, that's just it, Yeah, right? as long as you're out on the trail, it, it's always a good time. You know, as you say, you don't do this in the summer. No, no. And I mean, you know what? If, if we're going to sit around and do nothing, I'd rather sit around and do nothing on a frozen pond yeah. or a swamp. We should, I just say it's a good time. We like, should come back here in the summer and test out those snorkels. Well, I can't wait to have them done. Like, I have them all fabricated up. Yeah. And, uh, I just didn't like that. Every kit that you can buy on the market. What's, what's that? It? Every kit that you buy on the market, you can't run an enclosure. Right. So I custom did them so that they'll be able to come out and up. I can't do a kit on mine because, um, I got the rack. That's what you got to do. Yeah, but I don't, them, right? I didn't really need to go beyond here. If I'm going deeper than that, I got other issues. Well, that was why, like, it's the belt is number one. Yep. But then after we swamped it up north that time, 
I'm like, you know what? I'll just raise them yeah. all up. Tyler's got his. They look yeah. good. The Warrior ones, right? See, and I looked at the Warrior, but it reduced down. The only kid I liked, it reduced it down to two inch. Yeah, so mine's three. mine's right out of. Did you see how big mine is out of the CVT? Yeah. But you got to run a. You got to run a. Mine's from Dig Rig Power Sports. That elbow is 150 bucks, but no one else makes anything like that. Yeah, see, like I mean, mine. I did right out. I cut the boot. Oh yeah. In and then come right out. I didn't like this setup, and I don't. I had to wait to order my Flex 90. It's so not, I'm gonna change this. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit more clearance from the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't hit anyways. Yeah. So. But you know what, for just trying to wing it, that's what I did when I was sick at Christmas Day. Oh, you built a snorkel kit. I, no, I spent five hours researching. Oh, I watch, well, Watching video after video after different guys' ideas. and I'm I like, looked you know them what? all up and I looked up Tyler's, like that warrior kit, and I didn't like how it comes off the CVT and, and decreases the size. Like you said, it does see, like a 90 degree. But see, he changed this. He didn't use half the kit. Oh, he just wanted the tops he, and he stuff. He ended up, because they had it where it changed and all that. Yeah. He's like, how would I cut the boot and put it right here and just up out? Because it's way too much restriction. Yeah. You cause more heat than you're like... Oh. Well, the camera's Tim. not on Tim, so he's going to do stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we're going hogs back now. Nice. Man, this 900S has been to hell and back. I think the only other one that uh, compares is Super Greg's old razor. Well, if you notice, I'm missing my hey, rock slider. Yeah, I think that was on video. Uh, that was from or last one weekend. of the times. On this oh, is last okay. weekend. How many times no, did you I rip that off? No, I ripped the other side off on video and then bolted it through the frame like it should be yeah. and this was still the player's bounce. Oh, so but I didn't, bolt it through. We might have stayed up too late last night and I didn't feel ambitious this morning to try to yeah, re -bolt I know, it on. I really did. <laughs> you don't need it now. You got a bit of a rock slider. The skid plate sticks out. You know, out. that skid plate is something else. Man, I've got the same one. It's great. But I'll tell you, I can't wait to get the... The McNasties? Yeah. Yeah. Because gotta... uh, I ended up last time when I went out riding, I got a stick wedge in here and it lifted my whole floor. Whoa. that big around but i just pulled it was right across the road from the house so we're, i literally pulled out of the heated shop and drove over and we were just down the hill in and it wedged so it hadn't got cold yet so my floor flexed it didn't break it would have broke if it was this and cold. then we took it down and when i was you remember my, what happened to me up north yeah that was crazy we gotta wait to hear so, back from Andrew so that's where i talking to talking the better half into like she, after that she's like oh i agree for she's safety like, yeah, oh no, she's like, no. I said, well, to replace the floor plate. And I'm like, this is cheap insurance. Yeah, it is. And it looks good. But I told her that I have to buy it as a pair so I get front and back. Yeah. Better savings that way up front. Right. So, right. I told her it's just a special discount. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. So, but I'm, I, uh, I want to get those, uh, the little swampies that they I sell. I have too. those. I don't How have are them, they? Though. I don't know. I think today they freeze. I think they're cool depending on what kind of riding you do. At the same time, they're always open. So they always let in as well. You know how here sometimes you go in and it doesn't come in? Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I got curious, a set. Because I'm curious with that skid plate, because I mean, you have that much lower for the protection with that skid plate, right? So. I haven't installed mine yet. I've had them for ages, but I just never put them in. I wanted to try them and see. I'm like, if I'm ordering it at that time, that's the time to do it. You get yeah. a, a discount. But, well, they're a nice product. But I definitely want the... And they uh, take a beating because I, I, like the ones I have on there, like, can you imagine I didn't have those when I took that hit? Oh, it, it would have hurt me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look when Cheese had that one come through the other Oh, side, dude, that was close. It ripped his pocket open. Yeah. yeah. It, it wedged into the seat. Yeah. That's where we were supposed to ride today, originally. I know. We got to get back there. Yeah. Well, at least we're allowed in there. Sweet. Right, so... Yeah, I can't we, wait. We've got the okay from... Let's wait for snow. Well, just even a warmer day. Or a warmer day. Yeah, not minus 20. Like, let's do it like minus 3. Yeah, with 10 in, ten centimeters of snow and minus 3. Oh, well, remember when we went that last time? You, you slid down. Into oh, the man, and yeah. Like, you yeah. know, I'm still trying to get over deleting that video by accident. That was some wicked. That was such yeah. a good ride. That was one of the better winter rides we've ever had. Yeah. And it was long. It was. It was an awesome day. The funny thing is I had it completely done almost. And then I messed up my hard drive and... Anyways, it happened. Yeah, you know. We'll just have to do it again. That was a wicked trail. It was. And, like, I mean, that's why I had the saw on, because I was planning on having yeah. fun today. Man, that trail was awesome. That was a good ride. But, you know, talking to Creaser, he's now made a bypass around the one farmer that we're not supposed to go in anymore. Yeah, so maybe... Uh, trail, trail around. And... So now they won't be upset. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, more trail around home is always nice. 
I miss going to the States, Tennessee, oh, West I'm Virginia. So, like, I know we're supposed to go to Dominican in February, but I told her, I'm like, let's not. How about we just load the machine up and go down there and ride? Let me know. I want to go. Well, what's the plan? We're going to do a cosmetic. Oh, it's back? Yeah, let's do it. Shred it. Shred it. Nice yeah, blanket. Not many beer breaks, so let's just Let's rip just it. go and rip it. Do what? One beer break while we're there. What are we going to do? We're going to rip it. Yeah. Shred it. Hey, Julian. What if we what if we tied two quads together? I like it. I like if it a lot. You're up for it. I like it a lot. <laughs> look at you. Are you are you trying to broke now? Hey, look. There, that's an insurance claim in the making. <laughs> Those damn Cali owners, they're up to no good these days. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure what he's going to replace it with. Uh, definitely not a Yamaha, probably a Can-Am or a Polaris, eh? Never a Can-Am. <laughs> Those are fight words, boy. No, hey, Commander, yes. Commander, yes. <laughs> you set the bar too high, Fish. <laughs> Although we've noticed you're not very biased as to what you roll and or destroy. Well, it all comes in, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These balloon off when you All spin. right, we're going to Hogs Back. The tires? Cool. Yeah. Yay. Hogs Back. Hey, last weekend, this is the spot where that uh, uh, 1000 XP, he got right sideways because this is real greasy. He need to whack his front tire off that tree on the left there. Oh, yeah? He just bent his A arm like. Just folded it. That's crazy. Tyler just crawled this. Well, it's grippy today. Very grippy. Yeah, yeah he, I, he, it's tons of grip today. Saying last weekend they could barely make it up this. One of the guys hit a tree here, bent his AR because it was all greasy, but now it's like torn up and X greasy frozen. It's almost like grippier.
been doing it for three years. Well, I've only got 800k on it, so yeah. I think players need to have a. a yeah. What's wrong it. with yours? I got a weird clutch. Is it a rapid response clutch? I don't know. Because my machine and the 900s both have the same clutch. No, mine. Yeah. Mine's a full new, new design clutch. Really? And what do you got? It's got a little bit of a squeaky rattle. Yeah. You might have to sand the pillars. Hey, it's that a Polaris you're riding? And you're worried about loud noises? Did you hear mine earlier? It seems I fine. I crunch, did. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Is this your first Polaris? Pardon? Is this your first Polaris? No, I've had an 800 before though. Oh, you should be used to this. And this one's got less problems than your old one. I think we're good, Rob. Good? That's a nice compressor. It is. That's really nice. Nice cast. That fills it so That's fast. Nice. Oh, with a TMR mount on it, eh? Yep. Nice. Yeah, my little compressor should be standing there for yeah. half an hour. <laughs> There's it's a it's serious mini, waste in that thing. Truck. Enough, no, it's a fire. Fire or whatever. I just got one. It's just Wait, not the chrome one. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is for you mini trucks. Compressor? Show trucks. Oh. Oh. My uh, buddy, he had one, and he's like, hey, do you need a compressor? I'm like, I need a compressor all the time off road. I need drums here. So, next time we'll bring you rum. Yeah, that's on a fire ride. No combos. Combos. We need to be sponsored by combos. Yeah, they are so good. Which flavor is this? Seven. Oh, dude, try this. What's that? Combos. You will love it. My first try. They're deep fried, so they're good. Or are they baked? I think. Oh, they're baked tortillas. Yeah. So they're good for you. Yep. There is. Hey, you ever tried combos? I'm good. No, you're not. Right. Not till you've tried a combo, you're not. Alright, try a combo. Oh, no, I got my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, eh? Well, those are the seven layer ones. They're delicious. <laughs> Yo, this is PG content. Remember to follow us on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> is it me or is it a little warmer now? It is. Yeah. It does feel warmer. We're in the out of the breeze. And so we're at the hogs back. You guys will recognize some of these trails. There is so much grip out here today. Hey, look at this tire. <laughs> Didn't we just fix the other one? Did you suck the air out of this one and put it into that one? I told you that wouldn't work. Air transferring. This guy, Cowie drivers, I tell you. Unbelievable. Well, He's... the Cowie, the air is not made by Cowie. That's just regular Canadian budget air. It is. Yeah. If I would have had real Kawasaki air in there. He wants his air back. <laughs> Taxing it. Well, he needs hot air. That, well, that, and he's gonna tax you for it now. Yeah, yeah. That air was not vaccinated before it went in. <laughs> Sorry, God. on this channel we don't support unvaxxed air. No, no. Well, let's fix I'll it. I'll be back. Bro. Oh, thanks, Rob. We brought you with for a reason. <laughs> this guy. Right on. Everyone's having some sort of silly issues today. Yeah. Get them out of the way, and we're good for a few months, right? Crazy. Oh, look at that rust. Where's that mud? That's a, yeah, that it's a little bit of mud turned into rust, like clay. Yeah, look at that. That's like Georgia clay. Ooh. Oh, man, tires! I went riding in Georgia like three and a half, four years ago, and once in a while, until recently, now my racer's been like completely taken apart a few times, but until like a few months ago, I'd still find little specks of red Georgia clay. Like everywhere. I gotta like dig around the valve stem without closing the <laughs> That roll, is that a roll bar mount you got for yes. that thing? Fire extinguisher from TMR. And it worked. Oh, you can, you can. So, like, so it's got a quick release that okay. stays on the roll bar. I saw it on there, yeah. But you can see the roll bar mount now. Yeah. I can see it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh, so one side clicks into the hook. That thing is like pick. heavy. There's some serious weight to that thing. Well, this is for like airbags, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's like a 100% duty cycle or something. Why is this one flat now? He drained the air out of the other one to fix that one. And then... Actually, we said Justin Trudeau called and said he wants his air back because he never taxed them on it. You voted for Justin Trudeau, didn't you? Uh, no. 
I see that with pride. <laughs> <laughs> For all you American friends, just think of Biden and make him 10 times worse and you get Trudeau. Is that right? Is that accurate? Pretty much. Yeah, okay. They didn't want Trump, so can we have him? Oh, I'd <laughs> happily take him. <laughs> happily take him. I think a lot of Americans would happily Shut take him. Shut up, give me! <laughs> Center cap's dented. <laughs> Little. Oh, yeah. You know, they do make them every day. I don't know how many months you're going to have to wait. All right, let's put some air in there, see how she. Uh, I think you need a third. I think a two. Probably. Put a third one in. I think probably a third one more in. That went in way too easy. Yeah. Like I say, my ex Oh, she's still right leaking like crazy. Thing. Anybody have the glue? No. Let me see if I still got like that. I'm, I'm, I'm estimating this is a five plug. Yeah? Yeah. A four to five plug. This really softens it up nice. Sometimes I install two plugs at a time. You could do it. It might be a little cold for that. Really cold. Where, Where do you left? put it on? Like use it up. Oh, so I wouldn't even I wouldn't even use it because this stuff won't even dry. I think you should just shove three more in there. There's not nothing in there. Actually, I did. I did hear there, a pop one, too. Plug. I heard a pop. Yeah, just over Is that there. When you uh, hit the other side by side, still. The... <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, no. It's right after we came up this hill. I put her in reverse and backed up slowly. I'm like, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> something's gonna happen here. <laughs> hey, let's look at the razor. It's glory. She's all lit up. Look at all these lights, guys. So, little update. Since today we're doing more talking than riding, which is fine, it's still a good time. We're running the shock therapy limit straps, the silent uh, crossover rings, and the dual rate spring setup. And um, I think my crossovers are a little too low right now, but it's kind of weird. My suspension's set to max soft, and like there's so much movement in it. Every time you stop, it's in a different position. So it's hard to really know where to set it up. So I'm just gonna mess around with it. It rides really nice on full saw. Um, the comfort, the comfort has improved like drastically. Like it's, it's awesome, isn't it? Like the comfort, it is awesome. yeah. So uh, what else? The tranny. I mean, we had that little bit of a kind of. I'm still like it's still messing with my head. I popped out of gear there a few times. I don't know if it's just like a new tranny meshing. Uh, but I'm gonna drain the oil and see if there's any chunks in there. And I'm definitely gonna contact the dealership because it seems fine now, but it should not have done that. Um, but after doing a bunch of donuts, I feel a little bit more confident because uh, she spun up good there and it feels good on the road and everywhere. The suspension really is helping. Like I'm not getting as much front wheel lift anymore as I used to with uh, these new springs. Uh, we got all the new rock lights on there. So she's lit up nice in the front and in the rear. And in the grill, yeah, that's up in the grill. You can kind of see it now. It'll be better at night. We got the Baja designed light bar and headlight conversion. That's working great. And I love the way it makes the machine look all mean. Super ATV, high clearance, heavy duty, forward facing chromoly AR. Rhino 2.0s and all four corners. Uh, stock steering set up in there right now, actually. Um, once these stock ones uh, wear out, I'll, I'll put a set of Super ATVs in there. We got the brand new Warren Axon RC4500 um, or RC45, um, 4500 pound winch. This winch is so cool. It, um, it actually has load sensing technology. The color of the LED on the switch changes. It goes from like green to like yellow to orange based on how much percentage it's at. And then when it hits 90% pull capacity, I think it goes into red. And then if it hits 100, it'll it'll turn it off. And basically you have to spool out before you can spool in again. And it's basically recommending that you either use a snatch block or change your winching location or, or something like that because you're maxing out the winch and you're gonna overheat it. Um, it's a really cool winch. The line speed, actually, I got it pull it. When you get a new winch, it's really important to take all the line out and leave like two or three wraps and then pull the machine in under load to set that cable in there, which I haven't done yet. So hopefully I don't need to use the winch today. 
Um, but the line speed on this thing is crazy. It pulls in super fast um, with no load. Uh, it, it's, I think it's got like two speeds, load and no load. And it's actually noticeably faster than my other winch, which is awesome because when you're reeling in the winch, I hate that. Everyone's like, uh, it's going so slow. Um, the only downside to this winch is it's a small drum. So it's only 27 feet of cable. But I mean, I've always got toe straps with me. Uh, we got the Super ATV skid plate on there, as you guys have seen in previous videos. Super ATV front glass windshield. We got the Super ATV polycarbonate rear windshield. Uh, the G-Force off-road seats, which are now rebranded to Amped Off-Road. They're a suspension seat. I like them. They're way more comfortable than stock. We got all the switches. Uh, the nice rocker switch for um, the Warren winch. Uh, the rocker switch for my rock lights. Um, we got the um, wired remote plug there for the winch. Uh, we got the Baja Designs interior red dome light and the other accent lights in there for the ignition. I got some Super ATV door bags I'm gonna throw on and a Super ATV roof bag that I haven't gotten around to yet. We've got the fold away mirrors on here. Soft classic Polaris sport roof. We got the Razorback off-road rear rack setup. The Adrenaline off-road outfitters light up LED spiral whips. Uh, we got some more mic tuning rock lights back here. There's four rock lights in every corner. Two big ones and two little ones. And then we've also got some LED lighting up under there into the cargo area, which helps you see at night, plus it looks cool. I got a new light mounted under here. Yeah, if you're broken down on the trail, make sure to watch the videos. <laughs> um, so we got the Super ATV insulated cooler slash hot box slash storage box. I use this storage box. I got a couple bottles of hot water in there. It heats up that whole box. That's how I keep my camera gear and my battery is warm. I also keep my batteries in my pockets with uh, heat packs in there so that they don't get too cold. It's HMF turbo back exhaust. We've got the Rhino 2.0s in the rear, brand new with the tranny, because we just put the new tranny in there. We got the heavy duty, high clearance rear radius rods from Super ATV, the box ones. Oh, and don't forget about the uh, Super ATV high clearance, heavy duty trailing arms. Stock length, just heavy duty, high clearance. We got the Super ATV mud flaps that I keep bending. They're still cool though. <laughs> Actually, I've got some shock save or seal savers. I'm gonna be putting on the shocks. These A arms, or I mean these control, uh, these trailing arms don't let me run the stock rock guard. So I got some seal savers. I just want to dial in my suspension, get everything nice and clean, and then I'll throw the seal savers on. They're basically sh like condoms for your shocks, except they're more fun than condoms because condoms aren't fun. Always wear protection. This machine's as fresh as it's been. Got the Rhino prop shaft in there. Oh, we luckily can see because of all this nice light. Um, we got the aftermarket Assassins uh, clutching in there, brand new primary secondary clutch. We got the Dig Rig Power Sports um, uh, CVT exhaust elbow into just a simple riser snorkel setup. Uh, I think that's really it right now. Am I forgetting anything major? Obviously the Super ATV Exo Skeleton, the uh, full protection kit, the front and rear bumper, the Nerf bars and the bars that go around. Uh, I always get asked about this kit. It's been discontinued for like three years. So you're not gonna get one unless you buy one from somebody used, which is unlikely. Or you get a custom fab shop or a cage builder to build you an Exo cage. The next mods I wanna do is I wanna do an RS1 front diff conversion and I want to do a full custom cage with cargo rack. That's basically a walk around if you, you weren't familiar with what's on the Razor. Um, and then we got the, obviously we've got the custom vinyl wrap. This wrap is coming off four years old, four years of abuse. It was done by ECD Customs. They used to be out of New Liskert, Ontario, way the heck up north. About two years ago or something, they relocated down to Utah. So um, quite the move from one end of the continent to the other. So now they're based in Utah. But uh, I really recommend their wraps because the quality and the fit and finish of the wrap is excellent. It's uh, been through so much abuse and, and it's holding up so well. We've also got the McNasty Customs firewall guards, the, the red, here and here. And then we got them in the front. 
And then, um, I had to take one off on the back on the other side because it was, I was having clearance issues with my snorkel set up. That's cool. So yeah, that's the battle wagon. Battle wagon version 3.0 right now. So, um, oh, also on top of the aftermarket assassin clutching, we've got the full aftermarket assassin stage three tune, and I've also got a silicone, um, a silicone charge pipe on there, which you need to run with the dig rig power sport setup. People have emailed me like, I've got the dig rig coupler, I can't get it to fit. If you want that coupler to fit, even with the silicone pipe, it's hard to get it to fit. But with the stock pipe, the charge pipe is too hard, so it doesn't conform. But with the silicone pipe, you can get it on there with some jimmy rigging. And people are like, it doesn't seal up good. Well, it's not supposed to seal up perfectly. You seal it up using RTV silicone, just cake it with RTV silicone and it'll seal. That is all. So uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the video. It's just a little bit of a chill ride. Um, make sure you check out the Shopify store. If you got some scratches on your ride, you can cover them up with this nice wet scratch sticker. See, I don't see a scratch. Do you look? I think I did that today. Rubbed up against the tree there. Remember on that, like when we were on the angle? Like in here. Yeah. Cool, eh? Wet scratch. See? There's still tree bark on it. Nice. Well, because oh, this whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna need a big white scratch sticker. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the true colors because it's... it's it's black underneath. So as you scratch it, it turns camouflage. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Follow along. If you haven't checked out some of the other videos, watch those because they're way more action packed than today. But hey. Some rides are full of action, like I say, and some rides are just chill. If you're out on the trail, you're having a good time, then I'd say it's a win in my book. Sure beats a day at work. What do you say? Yep. Yeah, leave a comment oh. down below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know if you got any questions about the battle wagon. And... We're watching your videos now. Yeah, I know. They said they found the channel. <laughs> Show them, Jalen. Yeah, look. We're watching videos on video. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that ride yeah. awesome. Subscribe to the channel. Woo! <laughs> I told them that they're all pumped. Stars and Beyond. Good choice. I guess they're all pumped. Cool. Up. This thing looks awesome, man. I, I like the it. red. I love it. Yeah. The trail though. Okay, you gotta go. Gotta roll. Okay, let's go. Julian loves talking. Shut up! Yeah. Damn. Not the wildest ride of all time. No, but hey, there's some good trail here, here, man. There's some good trail here. There is. You'll like it once it's slick and it's snowy summertime. or, or, or yeah. mucky. Uh, there's some, you only saw like a little piece. It's there's cold out today though. It is cold. Yeah, it is cold. Look at the rays are all lit up like a Christmas tree. It looks good. Yeah. With the yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? I'm like, because it's cool. <laughs> Big well, wheels, the, man. I guess the kitty work, the fix work. I used to have a picture of this sitting in the bucket of my loader <laughs> <Yeah>. at work. <laughs> That was a cool time. That was fun. I'm still dizzy. You know, it wasn't. Oh miles. yeah, I can still feel it. It wasn't the miles we normally do, but it was still a good time. Sure beats sitting at home. Yep. Yeah. Well. And you know, I'm still a little dizzy. I I can still feel it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little nauseous. Yeah, that was like 18 rotations they, they, too much. They say it's COVID, but no. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> yeah. No, it's not COVID. It's, it actually spun all the COVID out. It came out your ears. Yeah. That's why I came here when the wife's calling. You forced it out. Yeah, you forced it out. Well, good time, guys. Until next time. For sure. Right on. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little slower paced than we're used to, but we had a lot of good times. Got to hang out with the guys on the trail, and any day on the trail beats a day at work. I mean, hey, unless riding is your job, but I mean, who can say that? Not many people, but a man can dream. Until Netflix or Amazon Prime call me and say, hey, you get your own show. I mean, I'll be going to the day job and doing this in between. With that being said, appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Thanks for smashing that like button and subscribing. Thanks for following along on Facebook and Instagram. 
And thanks for supporting us using the Shopify store as well as our affiliate link from Rocky Mountain ATVMC. All that stuff really helps a lot. It helps make these videos possible. With that being said, big shout out to all our sponsors and supporters. And we will have another awesome giveaway coming up for you guys in the next video. So stay tuned for that. For the extra hardcore viewers and fans who made it to the end of the video here, leave a comment and include the phrase hashtag Team AJP and I will draw three lucky winners on May 27th or later to win some sweet sticker packs with free shipping anywhere in the world. Ride safe out there guys, see you in the next video. Here, look at that. Also got a new order of stickers. So we got a lot of cool stickers here. Check these out. My other ride. You can show everybody your other ride. You can stick these babies on your wife's minivan, on your trailer, on your work truck, or on your other cars. Heck, you could stick this RS1 sticker on your Razor if you have two machines. So yeah, we got the Adrenaline Junkie Prod style stickers, and we've also got the My Other Ride stickers and a lot of popular machine designs. So you can check all those out on the Shopify store. I'll put a link at the bottom. This is a popular one with Scratch. These ones are also really popular. Eat, sleep, ride, repeat. And I got some new ones here. I really like these. Hold the F on, this driver does some stupid shh. Fall at your own risk and you gonna love this one. Unexpected full sends may occur at any time. It's true, it's true, it can happen.